next to sight they'd all been hoping for. Out of the blue emerges the shape of a huge creature swimming straight towards us. It's the king of the ocean, the giant whale shark. He'd obviously seen us and he came in just to have a little look and to play amongst the bubbles. Every time you dive with a whale shark, it's like the first time because you just see this magical, huge fish coming towards you and that's what it is, a gentle giant. And it's just swimming towards you, just very, very curious, looking to see what you're doing and it just makes you get all excited inside and your heart pumps and you think, oh, just to be in the ocean with it is absolutely magic. And basically, they usually come in around about November, December uh, with the plankton and um, they stay around for about till March, April. May. This year we've had an extended period of time because they didn't come in until January this year. So a little bit late, but they're still here at the moment, the 24th of May. So we've still got whale sharks here, so we're really wrapped with that. The thrill of swimming with one whale shark is overwhelming. Imagine how we feel when a second whale shark appears. How is this? Not one, but two juvenile whale sharks swimming round and around. This is just a sensational experience. Sensational. I'm going back down for some more. That is so amazing to see two in the water at the same time. That is just incredible. Now, they're huge as they are, Linda. They're absolutely huge, but, but they're only juvenile, so imagine how big the big ones are. Well, that's right, yeah. One was about four metres and one was about three metres, I think, with those two. Now, then they don't seem very frightened at all. No, they're not. They're very curious, and they'll come up and they'll play in your bubbles, and they just, oh, they just love it, and I love it. They're just so beautiful. See how gentle they are? Now, what is this about the bubbles? They seem to actually like cavorting in that, playing in that. They, like they do, yeah. Do they think it's feed? Oh, I think they... I don't know whether they think it's feed, but it's just good for them. So it goes into the gills, they blow it out the gills. It's fantastic. Now, these are juveniles, of course. These aren't the big ones at all. They're both females. No, they're not the big ones. Yeah, we seem to get a lot of five, six metres. And this is quite late in the season, the these boats. very late in the season. I was amazed. I was swimming around looking at the backfish, over, and I thought, wow! And I turned around and I saw this big silhouette coming towards me. It was just awesome! Yeah, there's actually a theory that Christmas Island is a bit of a whale shark nursery. And seeing ones this size, and we saw one about two and a half metres last week, so that actually really adds credence to that theory that they might actually breed here. So we need lots more research to find out really what happens with them. Yeah, certainly be they believe the adults actually head from here down to Ningaloo. Um, but perhaps the young ones are staying, staying for the season, just staying down deep. And um, when they're big enough, they head off down south or up north again. But yeah, it does certainly appear that they start there. the younger ones are hanging around here more and more often. They're just such gentle creatures, absolute gentle giants of the ocean. Stunning, stunning creatures. Giants of the sea. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful.